All right, so let me give you an example of, of this separate and integrate, separate and integrate type idea. All right. Solve the following differential equation. Dy dx equals x times y. Now, you can see the right-hand side is a function of x times a function of y. So this is a separable ODE, separable ordinary differential equation. All right, so... Let's say um, f of x times g of y. And so it is separable. OK, we separate the, um, uh, the variables in the following way. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring the dx up to the right-hand side and the y down the bottom to the left-hand side. So I get something a little like this. Okay, you can see I've broken up the dy dx to form a type of differential form here. All the y's and dy's are on one side, all the x's and dx's are on the other side. So this is what I mean by separating the variables. The next step is to integrate both sides. Okay, so I integrate here, integrate here. Now on the left-hand side, I'm integrating with respect to y. On the right-hand side, I'm integrating with respect to x. And so the left-hand side is going to give us log y, absolute. The right-hand side is going to give us a half x squared plus a constant. Okay, so we actually do have our solution there, y, in implicit form. What we would like to do is to rearrange this, make y the subject, remove those absolute value signs in some way. So let's, let's have a look at this. The first thing I can do is remove the logarithm by taking the exponential of both sides. Okay, so um, I guess we're rearranging here in a sense. So absolute y is going to be e to the half x squared plus this constant. What I would like to do now is to get rid of these absolute value signs, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break up this right-hand side into e to the c times e to the half x squared. Now, just to make things a little bit more pretty, a little bit more convenient, what I can do is replace this plus or minus e to the constant by a new constant, okay, say a. Now, this makes things a little cleaner and a little bit easier to work with. But there's one important um, thing that we've missed here. If you go back to your differential equation, you can easily verify that the zero function, y is identically equal to zero, is a solution to this. But if we go down to our solution, this can never be equal to zero because this is positive and we have plus or minus some positive thing here. So this can never be equal to zero. So we've actually missed one of our solutions here. And I'm not sure if you know why, but it, it's all about dividing by y. When you make this division, we rule out the constant solution y equals zero. So we have to put that back in at some point. So. We're still going to replace this with a new constant, but it must take into account the case y identically equal to zero. 
So we finally form the solution A times a half e to the x squared. Now this A here, you can think of it as a super constant. This A could be zero, or it could be plus or minus e to this integration constant. Okay, This is a nice, simple way of writing the solution that is easy to work with if we need to do things with it. Okay, so A equals constant. By that I mean at zero or plus or minus e to the c. Okay, now let's just look back here quickly and see how did I, you know, why did I break up this dy dx? Can, can I do that and, and, and where did it come from? Well, I'm going to justify this um, very quickly, okay, just by rearranging the differential equation. Okay, so I'm going to justify that we can come up with this expression. All right, so I'm going to bring the y down here to form 1 on y to y dx. Equals x. Now, 1 on y is just the derivative of log y. Right, so I've just replaced this with d of log y dy. Now, what I can do is cancel off these dy's and I get dx here. ddx of log y equals x. Okay? So you can actually go to this step using the chain rule if you, if you can, can see it. So all we need to do is to integrate both sides of this equation. So we integrate, we get log y equals a half x squared plus c. All right, so if we look back to our solution up here, this is exactly what we came up with. All right, but we didn't, we didn't spend a lot of time messing around with this. We just separated the variables and integrate it, okay? But the justification for that is given down here. So when you do these problems, I, I suggest that you do, do it this way, but I'm just trying to convince you that this, that, that method is, is robust, is, it's well-founded, okay? All right. <clears throat> so here I've just given a more general idea of why the solution method works, um, Basically, the, the idea is to um, do exactly what I did in the, at the second half of the previous problem, and you end up with, with this um, cancellation and integration, and then you have some sort of implicit form. Okay.